What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Wizard 101, episode 2. We are already far in the game. We've already beaten, beaten Unicorn, Unicorn Ave. We will never come back here ever again. Actually, we will. That's a lie. That's a really big lie. But some things have happened. One thing I do I want to talk about is... <clears throat> Last video came out to like 44 minutes with everything and then all the editing and stuff. So from now on, I am going to record longer struts, but the videos will now from now on be 20 to 25 minutes long. My outro, I won't say my outro every single time because I'm going to record longer, but every once in a while you'll get an outro and that's like from now till me saying the outro is how long of a recording session it is. I'm just going to chop it up into little bits, but you will get the normal outro and stuff. Second thing I wanted to to mention here was I got I got a couple items. We got a couple items. We got Buster from my other character and it gives us an Earthwalker card which actually will help a lot. So he is connected and a mount. We also got the Mollybone car. So now we have a 50% car that will drive us around anywhere we go. Anywhere. Anywhere. But right now I want to go talk to Dueling Diego. Because we I want to do this quest. I want to get this quest over and done with. <clears throat> player versus player. Greetings, young wizard. I am Diego, the duel master. You have heard of the illustrious wizard versus wizard duels, yes? No. Any wizard can duel another wizard in the arena. What? Either in a practice duel or a ranked duel. Nice. And once you reach level 10, you will be able to compete in proper tournaments. Yes. To duel another wizard, you must first enter the arena. Go inside and look at the arena pedestals. Then come back to me. Okay, well, let's go. Let's go look at all the pedestals. Let's go, guys. Come on. Follow me. Whoa. This is a lot bigger. Like, it used to stop, like, here. And there used to be, like, one, two, three, four. Wow. Okay, so let's start with daily PV. No, let's start with practice PV. You can simply click on the practice pedestal to create a duel or to accept another wizard's challenge. Practice tools are not reported and do not affect your PvP rating. They are a fantastic way to hone your skills. Definitely want to try out some of this PvP stuff. Not yet, because we have no spells, but whatever. Compete as a ranked duelist. Click on the ranked pedestal to create a challenge. Or to accept another wizard's challenge. You have the chance to win arena tickets, which you can redeem for prizes. Yeah. Every win will increase your PvP rating. However, if you lose or flee a duel, your PvP rating will go down. Oh god, nah. Oh. The tournament pedestal will let you join tournaments, but you must reach level 10 before you can use it. You can win special prizes by competing in tournaments. I will tell you more about them when you are ready. When you are ready. Okay, leaderboards. The leaderboard pedestal allows you to see your standards. It shows you how your rating compares to other duelists. Each season of Wizard vs. Wizard duels is known as an age. The length of an age is something of a mystery. Every time a new age begins, the leaderboard standings are enough to give every wizard another chance to shine. Okay. I don't know what this pyromancer and sorcerer on each side is, but whatever, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Now you know how to duel another wizard for practice or for ranked status. Don't forget to bring your arena tickets here to redeem for fantastic reward. And remember, your rank PvP rating lasts for an age. Once a new age begins, everyone's rating starts at zero again. Nice. Okay, so he gives us cards. He gives us stun block, cloak, and conviction. Okay. Okay, so I guess I could have done that last, last whatever. What's that? Bob. Oh yeah, that's the pet, pet bobble thing. Forgot about that. Okay, so let's go talk to. Oh look, that is. Why is it freezing up on me? Jeez. Goodbye, Lady Sheriff. I actually like how they do that around. 
Okay, but let's go talk to Zeke. Go talk to Zeke. Find the Smiths. Why, hello there, young wizard. Name's Zeke. Prospector Zeke. I've been all over the place, exploring the different worlds along the spiral. Each world I get to, I always find some and people are gone and forgotten. Like them dwarf-like fellers called the Smiths. Say, you and might help me out, would you? Those Smiths are hiding all around Wizard City. They don't do much good where they are. Locate them and let me know where I can find them, and I'll pay you kindly for your trouble. Okay, so we need to find the Smiths, but we'll do that, like, over time. I'm gonna talk to Annie Shutterbug. Oh, hello! You must be the famous young wizard everyone's been telling me about. No, I I'm... Wizard City's new resident Shutterbug. I'm not that popular. I, I think you're the wrong me, person. have you ever wished you could archive your awesome accomplishments, save striking scenes, and immortalize interesting entities? Nope. Well, now you can through the captivating art of photomancy. Photomancy allows you to capture a picture of your surroundings that you can go back and view anytime, anywhere. While mastering the art of photomancy takes practice and talent, taking a simple photo couldn't be easier. Here, I'll show you the basics. To bring up your viewfinder, press the Z hotkey or use the photomancy page in your spellbook. The boundaries of the viewfinder represent the edges of your photo. Think of it like the frame for the view you're trying to capture. There yes. are two basic photo modes, normal and selfie. Normal photos are taken from behind you, and okay. selfies are taken facing you. Okay. You can also choose to hide yourself in the photo. For those times when you want to focus on the scenery, or maybe you're having... This you take too long. I, I know how these work. Okay, enough chit-chat from me. You should go give Photomancy a shot for yourself. <laughs> Just press Z and take a photo here in the comments. Yay, we did it. Wow, you're a natural photomancer. I can't wait to share more tips. Until then, the only advice I have is to go out and take lots and lots of photos. Have fun with it. Oh, and don't forget to say cheese. Hey there, friend. Now that you know the oh, there's more. photomancy, it's mm. time you bring your skills into photomancy is more than just capturing moments in time. You can use it to capture quest goals, too. Allow me to demonstrate. When using photomancy for questing, your subject or goal target, you'll know your subject is in focus when you see their name appear in your view. That's all there is to it. Of course, the only way you're going to master this element of photomancy is to practice. Go snap a photo of Hilda Brewer in the fairgrounds, Mr. Lincoln in Gollum Court, and Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town. Have fun! Oh my goodness. Mr. Lincoln in Gollum Court. Oh. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, so let's go. I don't want to talk to Penny Dreadful, because she actually has, like, other stuff. I want to talk to the headmaster, get the enrollment quest, go do the enrollment thing, because I want to go get enrolled. Enrollment. Uh, my apologies for the excitement, young wizard. There are forces at work making things uh, disorderly. Welcome now to the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, young wizard. Now, on to your enrollment. There are seven magic instructors here in Ravenwood. You should visit each of them to get to know them better. You can use your compass to find the Ravenwood Tunnel. Ooh, do the we main schoolhouses are there circling the great tree, Bartleby. Return to me when you're finished. Oh, goodness. Okay, You've yeah, only just enrolled, discuss. and you're fast becoming one of our brightest students, young wizard. Dark times call for exceptional people, and I sense you're one of the best. Heck Would you yeah. do another favor for me? You've demonstrated you're capable and unafraid. Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town needs help. I'd like to see what you can do. Go through the shopping district and look for the Old Town gate. Show Muldoon this letter or else he won't let you pass. Okay, yeah, I'm not going there first. I want to go to the courtyard. Because I have to take a picture of him too, I guess. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay, let's go to the courtyard. I'm actually really happy I got the car <laughs> from my other account. It's gonna it's gonna save a lot of traveling time. 
Okay, so we have to talk to everybody. So Arthur, here we go. Jolly good to meet you, new student. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Arthur Weathersfield. I'm originally from Marleybone, which is a much different world than this. As a lad, I was always interested in magic, but they don't practice magic in Marleybone. When I got older, I spent many years studying here in Ravenwood, but for the past ten years, I've been in Crocotopia. I came back to train students in a form of magic called sorcery that deals with the balance of all things. It is more advanced than the other schools and harder to master, but its power is unbelievable. Come by later if you want to learn more. Cheers! Okay, so he is the balance teacher. Wow. Torrance, you're looking good, man. You're looking good. Okay, let's go talk to our teacher. Cause Hailstrom Bailstrom. Ah, a new student. Welcome to the School of Storm, also known as Divination. For those who have chosen to master this magic are known as diviners. I'm a diviner. I am Professor Halstrom Bailstrom, Master Inventor. Oh yes, and Professor of Storm Magic? Who can master the power of the storm lords in the seas? Anyone who can harness their creativity. You look like a smart one. Check back when you're ready to start learning how to release your inner thunder! Release your inner thunder! We can also get lightning bats right now, which we are getting because it's a free training point, and why not? Okay. A new spell! This spell yes, we is know. a high we, we rank know. and will do more damage. Yes, 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 we know, we know, we know, we know. Get out of here, we know. Okie dokie. Look at Kelvin. Oh, this is so cool. I'm gonna go grab those cattails. Okay, let's go. Bernie looks good too. Everything. I'm just. You're gonna hear a lot of that. Lydia Gray Rose. Welcome, dear. I am Lydia Gray Rose, your ice magic professor. Ice magic or thaumaturgy is not for the impatient or flighty. My goodness, no. You need to study hard to learn ice magic. But I'm sure you will be great at it. And I'll always offer a hand if you need it. Come see me later when you are ready to begin your lessons. You have much to learn from ice. Okay, and for she, I want the tower shield. I definitely want the tower shield from her. But after that, I don't really need anything else from ice magic. So that is what we are getting. Oh, Bernie. Every, everybody looks good. Everybody. Ooh, let's talk to the hottest teacher around. Get it? Because she's fire. Ha. <laughs> she actually... She, I don't mind this. Like, yeah. Hello. Welcome to the really School different. of Fire. I'm Madame Famia. Oh, Yes. You're a new student here. You definitely have that spark about you. Get it, spark some light. Here, I instruct students how to be powerful pyromancers. But fire can be quite dangerous. We must not be rash lest we destroy that which we mean to achieve. Come see me after you have finished your tour. I'm always up for fanning the flames so students can learn more about pyromancy. I like how it's all steamy. Okay, let's see what spells she has. She has... Hmm... Yeah. I don't know. Fire doesn't really have any spells that you'd want unless you were a fire caster. I think a pyromancer. Okay, next is this guy. What's up? Have you come up? looking for the death school? Well, you found where it used to be. This gaping chasm is all that is left after it was torn from Ravenwood. It is said that Malastare, the death professor, caused it to disappear. I'm not sure what happened to the school, but you'll find many rumors around town about it. Oh, I'm Malorn Ashthorn. I don't mean to boast, but I used to be one of Malastare's top students. Now, I'm about all that's left, so I try to teach the new students. So if you want, I can teach you some death spells or necromancy. If you're up for it, stop by any time. He has a spell. Actually, he doesn't. It's after Vampire, but it's it's the faint. It's the faint spell, and I want that from the Death School. 
Okay, let's talk to. Ooh, I've been. Ooh, looking good, bud. Looking good, you one eyed bug. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. What's up, Cyrus Drake? Let me guess. Another conjurer want to be taking the Ravenwood tour? How quaint. He looks way different. Professor Drake shakes his head in frustration. I wish they would send us some adept pupils for once. He's also well, ig ignorant. If you wish to attempt to learn some myth spells, come back later and I will see how well you pay attention. Now, leave me alone. Him? He doesn't really have anything I'd want. The only thing from myth that I'd want is to learn how to summon minions. But you only get that if you are a myth student, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go talk to Zikau. Zikau. Mulinda. Ooh. Oh. Those sound effects, too. Welcome, my dear young wizard. I am Mulinda Wu, professor of the School of Life. This school celebrates the living, evergreen power of creation and vitality. If you listen carefully to your surroundings, you'll hear life magic all around. Just a few notes can lift one's troubles, purify one's spirit, and restore life. Soon I will teach you how. Come visit me when you're ready to learn more. Okay. Oh, what does she have? She has, like... See, you can learn up to, like, satire, because... He... Good healing, right? Or sprite, because she's good healing, too. See... Usually, people, what people do, or what people used to do, is choose two schools and just stick with their secondary and main school, right? But what you're supposed to do is just take what you want from each school and then have your school as your like main school. If that makes sense. Okay, we need to go to Merle and Bros and talk to him and say we are done with the enrollment. Oh, good. Now you know where all your classes are held. I hope you liked all the Ravenwood instructors. If you want, you can wander about to see what all Wizard City has to offer. I should mention, though, uh, there have been some strange events around town. Nothing serious, nothing that a promising wizard like you couldn't handle. So, as a reward for your visiting all the instructors, here is a new spell card. Don't forget to add it to your deck. Ooh, we got lightning strike. Plus ten percent accuracy. Congratulations! You can okay, we got furniture. If you're high oh, enough level, furniture. you can congratulations, young girl. Yes, you I know what you're saying. Okay. In your chosen secondary school. You'll have so to we buy are... them in sequential order to get oh, the, the higher oh, levels we get added. So shop and there's wisely. the up here, okay. Okay. So now let's go to I'm gonna go to Old Town, I think, and talk to whatever, so I'll be back once we talk to him. Okay, let's talk to Sergeant Halt. Muldoon. Who goes there? Whoa, he looks different. You show Sergeant Muldoon the letter from the Headmaster. This darkness has come upon Wizard City so quickly we're overwhelmed dealing with it. I'm glad you're here to help. You're that student everyone is talking about, aren't you? They say you're Wizard City's last hope. And you've just enrolled. You did a good job spooking the spooks on Unicorn Way. But evil is on the move. Push down in one place, something pops up somewhere else. Now it's Old Town's turn. If we lose control of Old Town to the undead, all of the other streets will be isolated and will fall. Defeat Lady Black Hope and lock her in her tower on Unicorn Way. Do that, and I'll let you pass. So now we have to defeat Lady Black Hope, but we are going to take a picture of you and then I also want to go and accept these quests cuz you know greetings young wizard so you're interested in learning about crafting wonderful let's get started with your first lesson 
The first rule is to have a clean, well-lit place to work. For that, you'll need a basic crafting table. I'm happy to make you one if you can gather the supplies. We'll need some mist wood. You can find mist wood growing all over Wizard City. Bring the mist wood back to me, and we'll soon have you a nice new place to work. She kind of sounds like a witch. Like, you think if she, like, laughs and stuff? She kind of has that <laughs> kind of laugh. Well, hello there. I've not made your acquaintance yet. It's always good to see fresh faces here in Wizard City. I wish I had studied to become a wizard instead of, uh, becoming a town guard. Say, I found this book on one of the benches while I was strolling to work this morning. It looks important, and uh, I don't have time to drop it by the library. Would you take it there for me? Yes, I can. Mainly because we are going that way anyways. So let's go back to the commons. Okay, let's talk to this shutterbug. How'd your photos turn out? Amazing. Wow, looks like you're well on your way to becoming a professional photomancer. Just keep snapping photos. And don't no, no more again, oh. wizard. You have quite the eye for photomancy, and I just learned about an exciting opportunity. I think the Spiral Geographic Society of Marleybone is going to publish a new magazine. They asked me for talented photomancers, and I thought of you. Go find Hubbard Gardner at the Royal Museum in Marleybone. Show him some of your pics. I'm sure he'll want to use you for his magazine. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. We aren't going to Marleybone for a decently long time, so I don't want that crowding my my quest. Okay, let's talk to Harold. You say you are returning a book that someone dropped? You are quite a good sport to take time out of your day to do that. Thank you for doing that. Oh, hang on there. This book does not belong to the library. Inside the cover, it states property of Sabrina Greenstar. She probably dropped it on her way to the fairgrounds. You best give it to her yourself. Okay, I'll go to her. I'll be back. Okay, we're coming up on Sprina. Let's talk to her. Oh, no, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. I want to talk to Sprina. You are returning the book I left on a bench? I didn't have one with me today. Maybe I lost it last week. Oh, that book. I gave that one to Regina for her to use as research for a science project. She's just inside Gollum Court if you want to give it back to her. Oh my goodness, but I see a smith. So. We're gonna go. I wanna see what kind of things does she have? Oh, she sells just storm shields. Or she sells just normal shields. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go to Gollum Court. <coughs> And give this to. I Regina. left my book on a bench. What book? Her eyes get big when you hand her the book. Oh yes, this has all the notes I was taking on my science project. I'm sure glad you found this. It was a lot of work for me. Thank you ever so much. Hi. I don't want to do that quest. We will come back later and do that quest. So that's why I declined it and sped through it because we're gonna read it again. So you know. Okay, so just get mist wood, find smiths, and yeah, okay. Being oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my god, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I